What's going on, man? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's good? How you doing? So I'm trying to figure something out, right? I'm trying to figure out if I want to use this camera to vlog or do I want to use this camera to vlog. So you guys see like the nice zoom, the wide angle. This was like my old school vlog. This is what I used to use all the time. Just kind of know what you guys want to see versus, you know, this. You dig what I'm saying? Like, you see the difference in the quality? No wide angle. I can't make this any bigger. This is kind of just where it's at. Like, I'm holding the camera like, I don't know how far away, but. You see, the reason I like the smaller one is because I don't got to carry this monster thing around, but you know, the quality on this is sauce, but the quality is also good on this. Just the audio is not as good. I notice a lot of you guys kind of complain about the audio and stuff. So let me know what your feedback is. Maybe I'll just like one vlog, I'll do this. And the other vlogs, I'll do this. And you guys can just, if you remember, be like, hey, Mike, I really like the quality of this video. Simple. But I'm about to go eat, so let's roll the intro. Don't link me. Don't hit me when you hear this and tell me your favorite song. Don't tell me how you knew it would be like this all along. I know the truth is you won't love me until I'm gone. And even then, the thing that comes after is moving on. So right now, I'm actually headed to meet up Jordan and Jordan at the Korean barbecue spot for the one time. And I know a lot of guys keep asking me about keto and how's that going. Yes, I've still been doing it since April 25th. Nothing's changed. It's kind of weird because I've been at like this weight loss stall. Like I lowered my calories and I've been stuck at like 197, 198. So I don't know where, I really don't know what to do about that. But when I look in the mirror, like I, I look better. My face looks better. Whatever, I mean, at the end of the day, weight scale don't matter. It's all about how you feel when you look in the mirror. So everything with that has been great. Just an update, just because I see some comments that are always asking about it. Another huge favor I wanted to ask of you guys is, if you could go on my Instagram and like these pictures, anything associated with Puma, this would be a huge help, man. I posted this earlier. This is from Timothy De La Ghetto, but it's facts, man. Like when your favorite influencer really does a sponsored post, you gotta like it, man. All these companies care about is analytics and numbers. So just show some love if you could. I'm sure you guys get really sick of seeing a bunch of sponsored posts, but like that's what allows us to be able to eat and you know, and live the lives we do. I create content for you guys. All you gotta do is support it. It's super easy to just take a little time out of your day just to hit that like button. Yeah, so our original plan was to eat at this Korean barbecue spot. Nah, bro, our original plan was to hit the LA food cafe. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so the, the very start of this day, what we were supposed to do is go to an LA food festival. Yeah. They called me, I didn't even leave yet. They're like, yo, this is trash. I'm like, damn, I'm definitely not trying to go. So then I was like, all right, let's hit Korean barbecue. We went to this place, were we in Koreatown? We had that Juku, Juku Juku, bro. Yeah. Juku Juku Korean barbecue, and we went in there. They had like little seats that you had to sit in. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, bro, no backrest. Then I looked at these two. Everybody had a mutual look. Dude set up our table, and I was like, yo, we're actually not gonna eat here. And <laughs> he was <He's>, taken back. <laughs> yeah, he was taken back. <laughs> he looked at me like, really? I feel bad, but. What, what else? How could I have said it nicer? I, mean, uh, really I don't know. I mean, the only other thing you could have done is I think that I just. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Man. I think that's it. I think. Bro, I think what made it even funnier is the fact that the fire wasn't working. I think that was like the sign. Yeah, like, like, so like, we were like, all right, should we stay? Should we leave? Jordan's like, we got 20 seconds. He went to go get us water and the fire burnt out. And I was like, all right, we ain't gonna eat here. It was just taken back. So now we gotta figure out where to eat. We got like an hour. What do you got an hour on parking too? No, nah, mine's free. But it's in the hour, the time? Sundays. 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 Oh. We're so I'm good. Yeah. Good, yeah. All right. Oh, about 30, 40 minutes later, we still haven't. Well, we're going to eat burgers now. We went from Korean barbecue to burgers. All these Korean barbecue places just look trash. There's no reason to eat a bad meal in LA, bro. Trust me. You should never eat a bad meal. So this is where we ended up, man. What is this place called? Sells. Sells Hamburgers. 1948. Open it up. Jordan says it's good. I trust his word. It's, it's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Solid at all. Wait, where? It's all gone. Over by the 
How was that patty mo? Is that alright? Yeah. Damn. Mine wasn't. Matt? What is this, bro? Bruh. We would have kept walking too, bro. Oh God, we, we've been walking too. You a bitch, bro. <laughs> That's the ultimate. Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh. Indonesia. Sorry. It's kind of cool because when they shake your hand, they're like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they Fans all over the world. Yeah, right he did. Here. He really did bow. He's like, and he looked at me like, bro, what are you doing? He said, bro. <laughs> so we're basically on Melrose walking. We just went into round two. I wanted to go into discussion about how I think the sneaker game is dying. It is dying. <laughs> Hey, y'all seen that live on camera, bro. Had to get him back. Remember, he got me in that video? That's the ultimate. <laughs> See this camera right here? Actually, they haven't seen it because you haven't put it up. Well, guess what? Scrub. I'm talking about in your video, nigga. You should yeah. have me in your video. We'll get him again. But anyway, like I was talking about, that was a weak ass slap. Um, <laughs> the sneaker game is dying, huh? It is, unfortunately. <laughs> sneaker Nothing game. but Yeezys. Nothing but Yeezys. It's there used to be Mad Heat. Huh? You remember? Like Where? two years ago? No. When we go in around two and there'll be like nothing but Why straight you heat. Face, bro? I smack you too hard. You smack me when I turn sideways. <laughs> you gotta hit the face. Let me show you how. I'm not gonna hey, hit you. I'm gonna show back you. Back away. I ain't gonna hit you. Back away. Why are you scared? Hey. Hey, bro. Why are you trying to hold my hand, bro? You gay? Hey, I'm getting out like that. Me in the floor, bro. Hey. Me in the floor. Hey. Shout yeah. <laughs> yourself out, bro. What's up? Yes, bro. You gotta shout yourself out. Uh, little hobby for me. Check my SoundCloud out. I'm a little hobby. Where you from? From Bay Area. Where? That's what's up. Where are you from? Out here? I'm from Bay Area. Yeah. I'm originally from Colorado though. I used to be a vlogger myself, feel me, but word? I stopped that shit. Why? Get back into it. No. I was in high school days. Oh, no. word. What's your channel? Right. Jordan Bailey Vlogs, bro. Jordan Bailey Vlogs. Mine's just Mike. Mike? Yeah. How many subscribers y'all got? I have 400. Like yeah. Word. I have like 10. 10? <laughs> yeah. So, He's got all the clout, man. He's got all the clout. You scared now? No, I ain't scared. I'ma get you, bro. <laughs> the dirty thing is I tur turn, so you got me right here. Slap <laughs> cam. I can't. I can't. You should take a video. Yeah. <laughs> You're not slick. You should take a video. <laughs> That's what it goes the friend thinks you're cute. <laughs> gotta be basic for the one time and stop at Starbucks. It was Matt's idea. What you got over there, G? <laughs> I can't see you, bro. What you got over there? Water. Diarrhea water. Oh, it's the one and only. The Monica. <laughs> What is life right now? <laughs> Passion to you. Hi. So my friend in the yellow likes you. Do you see him right there? No, but someone just took a picture of me like a weirdo. That guy did. Who? That weirdo. But who? He just was like, go tell her that I like her because she's cute. Why wouldn't he come say himself? Is he cute or is he ugly? He's adorable. <laughs> I swear to God, he has the juiciest dead, fucking lips. I'm dead as fuck. The come say hi. Wait, I'm gonna get a coffee though. Dead come, ass. come say hi. I'm dead ass gonna get a coffee now. Who is it? Your friend? Come on, come say hi. Yes, yes, yes. All right, shoot your shot. Am I right? <laughs> She's like, someone took a photo of me. What? Some weirdo took a photo of me. He said, she said some weirdo took a photo of me. So I'm about to explain the last clip that you guys just saw in the vlog. 
We had Monica go talk to these crazy girls just for fun. She was supposed to say, well, she technically did. She said, my friend likes you, which was Jordan, right? Not me, but we're both wearing yellow. Hold on, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. So, we're both wearing yellow. Everyone points at me as these girls are Ubering off, and this girl sticks her tongue at me. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't have friends. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, you're bugging. I'm not even concerned about you. I still see those shadows in my room. He's the only guy getting. Oh, yeah. I'd love to get this world ice cream. The world ice cream is awesome. He's taking nothing but like L's today. He's sitting on Melrose like we the cool kids, bro. <laughs> This is what all the cool kids do, right? I have cloud, bro. Don't get my Yo, pajamas. follow me. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for a minute. Yo, you what is every it? Every time we get on video. What? Yo, follow, follow me, bro. Jordan. Follow me. <laughs> Jordan. To everyone. Jordan Bentley, follow me. Follow me, Jordan Bentley. Kind of cloud. Follow me, Jordan Bentley. Uh, cloud squad. So a lot of you guys don't know, but I basically have a store running still. If you're looking for sneakers, man, I have so many sizes of different stuff. Everyone's always DMing me like, yo, Mike, you got other sizes, nine and a half. You know, a sneaker life back. Or you can check out my other Instagram, Mike's Bodega. I'll put the links down below. Just know I got a lot of heat. There's just a lot of stuff. So just got back home. Um, for the sake of wanting you guys to hear me in good audio and good footage, I decided to switch to the other lens. I just kind of wanted to talk about things that I realized today. Obviously you see like what this vlog is kind of all about, like sneaker game dying and blah, blah, blah. And I know a lot of people emphasize that. Now the love of sneakers will never die. I love my shoes. No disrespect, no disrespect to round two at all. I just remember, or even any consignment shop in general, I remember two years ago going into sneaker shops and you would see like shoes like this, you would see. You know, like the Yeezys, the, like the old school Kanye West, or you know, what else was just crazy heat back in the day? Maybe even like some LeBron Corks, you know, or some Dorn Becker 3s, stuff like this. Struggling to pull it out. You know, you'd see that and it would be like, damn, bro, those are dope. Like, I can't wait to get them. And now it's like all you see is these and the utility. Just trash, like honestly, trash shoes. And these shops have like tons of them. It sucks to see like that's what people's grails are now. Cause it's just lame. It's like a lame grail to me. I guess I just had that realization of material things is just kind of whack. And again, I want to put another spin on it as far as if you can't go anywhere without wearing a pair of Yeezys or, you know, some type of material item to make you feel accomplished or good about yourself, then maybe you need to look in the mirror and try to figure out what truly does make you happy. I just want you guys to listen to something that I've heard most recently. If you can't be happy going out or going somewhere without trying to always flex on someone, I truly think there's a problem. Me personally, you see I'm wearing this jersey. This might've cost me like $15. I'm wearing some black shorts and I was wearing my all white Nike Prestos that cost me $60. You see, total fit, nothing fancy, no reason to flex, like I am who I am. And I'm happy with that. Like I can look in the mirror and I can be happy. So really think about that. Too many people are wrapped up in this concept of materials is what makes them, but really you are what makes you. You being you, you being yourself, not pretending to be someone else will get you further. So yeah, that's my whole little, I guess, preaching on what I've learned most recently and just how I feel about the sneaker culture right now. I just feel like everyone doesn't truly know what's cool anymore. Nobody has their own opinions. We're all caught in a rat race of, oh, we all think the same thing is cool. And if you don't wear that, then it's unacceptable and you're a loser. But in reality, you being yourself and wearing what you want is your way of expressing yourself. You know, wearing Supreme and Gucci and Yeezys isn't going to make you cool. You were going to make you cool. So, yeah, I'm done with that. That's the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Oh, yeah. And also, I had like five new shirts drop on stmichael.com. If you guys want to go check it out. Even if you don't buy anything, just go check out the website. Maybe give me some feedback on prices, designs, what you'd like to see in the future. I love it. No one to guide me. I'm all alone. No one to cry.